What is up you guys? It is day two of week two of this Warrior Dumbbell Domination. And today we are gonna be hitting three muscle groups, our chest, our shoulders, and our triceps. So let's get ready, let's get into it. Let's talk about what we need to do before we start this workout. So I want you to get in a really good pre-workout warm-up. Warm up that body, maybe get in a little bit of cardio, get in some dynamic stretching. That dynamic stretching is movement through stretching or stretching through movement, okay? It's not that static, just holding, but you're, you're moving and you're stretching, warming up that body, getting it nice and loose for the stress you're about to go put on it, okay? Especially when it comes to our shoulders, I want you to be mindful of the weights that you're using. I always want us to push ourselves when it comes to our shoulders, be smart because shoulders are such a, oh my gosh, they, they can get injured so easily, so quickly, and it takes a really long time, it seems like, for shoulders to, to heal and to get back to 100%. So make sure when you're doing your shoulder exercises that you're using good form, as with all of your exercises. But when you're choosing your weights, make sure that you're choosing a weight that you can, that's not going to compromise your form in any way, okay? Um, you will still get a great workout with your shoulders, um, but just be wise when you're choosing your shoulder weights. Um, make sure that you have something to drink so you're staying hydrated because you're gonna be sweating so we can constantly refuel and um, bring those electrolytes back into the body. Um, make sure that you have your notepad, that you are tracking your progress, writing down the weights that you're using, tracking how you're feeling throughout your workouts. Um, make sure you have some good music if that's your jam. Um, so you're in it, you're staying focused. It's time to invest in you. I am super excited that you are here. And if you are new here and you just are jumping into this workout, enjoy it, love it, but go back to day one so you can get the full benefits of all four weeks. And also make sure that you're subscribing and turning on your notification bell so you never miss a workout. All right, you guys, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do what we do best. We're gonna go in and we're gonna kick our trash. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna work hard and then we're gonna recover even harder. So let's get to it.
right, you guys. That is a wrap on day two, chest, shoulders, and triceps. I hope that you loved out of the, out of the gates that we got in that giant set. Um, those are some of my favorite things to work, those giant sets. So make sure as you are going throughout your day, but before you go throughout your day, I want you to get in a really good post-workout um, stretch, um, a little bit of a cool down, something. I want you to think about, and I say this all the time, but it's truly an investment in yourself. It's super important. When you see athletes, elite athletes, or you know runners, or CrossFit trainers, anyone, boxers, you see them always warm up, and you see them perform, meaning they run their race, they do their event, they do their lifting, and then you see them cool down. You know, you see CrossFit athletes in big baths of ice water, um, or using the Thermagun, uh, and you know, elite runners, they've just ran for miles, and now they're, they're cooling down, doing like two, three, four, five mile cool down. That is because they're bringing their body back down, because when we work out, at the peak of our workouts, our, our uh, blood vessels are just dilated, okay? Because we're trying to get in all this oxygen. And if we just stop cold turkey, all that blood just starts to pool up. And so that's why sometimes after you've gone and you didn't do you know, a really good um, stretch or post-workout you know, cool down, whatever it is, um, throughout your day, your body just feels heavy or your legs feel like lead or the next day you get up and you're like, oh my gosh, it's because we didn't take the time to properly invest in ourselves completely with following through with a really good cool down, okay? So our bodies want to cool down naturally. They don't want to just be shut off. So we really have to, you know, we amp them up, we amp them up, we open up those blood vessels. So now we have to help them slowly close. Um, and again, it's going to help us with recovery and just feeling better the next day, as well as, you know, fueling our bodies good with really good macronutrients for our bodies, for our goals, getting in, you know, our six to eight hours of sleep, drinking plenty of water throughout the day to stay hydrated. All these things, they add up. If you, if you start doing them little by little, you'll notice that your, your recovery, your body starts to feel better. Um, but if you don't, you'll notice that your body starts to, you know, it just feels tired, it feels sluggish. You're not, you're not in it like maybe you would be on a Monday when you took a couple days off before. So just really invest in that time to warm up, invest in that time to cool down. And again, it's like this pyramid, okay? So you have, over here, you are starting your, you know, your, your warm up, whether it's a slow run, a walk, whatever. Then you do some dynamic stretching. Then at the peak of this pyramid, that's when you're in it. That's when you're kicking your trash. And then you come back down and you go again and you do like a, a light jog, a slow run or walk, whatever it is for you. And then you come down and you do your static stretching, you know, really stretching, doing some foam rolling, really just working those muscles out. Um, so super important, okay? All right, enough of that. <laughs> I just wanna highlight how important that is and how much it's going to help your body in the long run and help you, allow you to stay moving and your body feeling good and mobile, um, you know, for years to come. It's super important. All right, so do all those things and then come back and we're gonna do it all again tomorrow. So go out, have an awesome day, and I will see you right back here tomorrow.